Hello, this is Gary again, and I'm going to show you some of the things you may run into in a as an industrial maintenance person or industrial electrician. Uh, sometimes you may be added, talked into adding some equipment, or if you're a small shop, you may have to do everything, installation, engineering, and the whole works. Uh, today we're going to talk about Keyence. That's K-E-Y-E-N-C-E. -E -E, uh, safety systems. And those safety systems are such thing as light curtains. These light curtains the hardware comes as a transmitter and a receiver. They have LED beams that will physically uh, go from the transmitter to the receiver. The receiver and the transmitter have cabling that is matching to this is a safety relay here that can interface an interposing relay with your other equipment this is a power supply that can sells reasonable otherwise you have to provide 24 volts to this here and it's simply a safety relay there is relay one and relay two and then there's some separate outputs that you can get via the software the software is free which is the best kind the cables you can buy and they're identified as they will do either there's 11 pins in the cables they are identified by gray and black so you can tell which and then they also say transmitter receiver gray and black so they're fairly easy to put together you physically uh, connect the cable by pushing it in the cable ends are already made and have screws for them uh, you put those in and in this one it's a transmitter which is gray so we connect it and they're keyed so you can't really put them in wrong screw them in and that is the connection that you make so all of your connections are made and if you use the key it's power supply it plugs right into the side and provides the 24 volts we'll connect the receiver here and again here's where the connection goes in simply put your connection in push it in screw the two screws into the drive or the light curtain and what that light curtain is for is if someone gets a finger or a part or something in there you can stop machine motion so in today's world we have a lot of that for to prevent injury to either people uh, other equipment and such so screw it on so now those are hooked up 
I will turn the power on to the power supply and essentially I just put it on an extension cord there my rip power supply came up so now it's talking to the light curtains you can see the lights LEDs that have an indication you can see the LEDs here says the power is on and this says it's not seeing anything if I put the two together those will those relays will turn green not sure if you can see the green LEDs yet or not but see there they're now green and if I put something in them, like my hand, they turn red. And notice the LEDs on the safety relay. So that is how physically they'll work. To protect your machine. You then run the outputs from here into your PLC to shut it down. So once I have my green lights, see my green lights are here, this relay is closed. Now I can run the software that talks to the light curtains via a USB and a device that I plug in and so it plugs in take the screw cover off Plug this device into the light curtain. Plug it into a USB on your computer. And then you can see the software that you use to configure and you really have to choose the right one to begin with so my software is Keyence, K-E-Y-E-N-C-E. -E. That software is free. So we're going to download from the GLR. So we are essentially talking to the light curtain now 
And here is our configuration software. Tells us what type it is. And we can have multiple ones so we can hook them together. There's muting, so as you can see here, if you have multiple ones, there's banking, there's reduced resolution, which means you can physically set the size of a diameter, something that you can put in, say maybe a hose or a finger or a piece of wire and you don't get the safe D of your machine. Here's the interlocks, EDM. Here's our output. So this is all of the multiple wires. You can use a five core, seven core, or 11 core. I'm using the 11 core, which has all those colors in it, and it tells you what the outputs are. Um, so you can have multiple outputs, the indicators, so you can say that is the green indicators I showed you earlier, and then the OSD. And if you want to upload it, you can upload it. We can go to monitor and we can see all of the LEDs or lasers. So I'm going to put my finger in and you can see what happens. See the red light come on? So the safety relay went on. When I take it out, it goes back. So you can see what happens as to how all of those are. You can monitor the I.O. So this tells you the state it's in, on or off, error output, uh, weight input. So there's multiple inputs that you could program. So you can use this to protect your machine. They're fairly cheap, they're easy, and the software is free, and they give you a lot of help over the telephone and online. So it's a great company to do business with. Uh, stuff is available at a reasonable price. Uh, Please uh, hit the like button and the subscribe uh, and see more videos on other safety items like scanners and stuff from Kians. Again, they are a very responsive company. The pricing is right, the products are good, and the software is actually free. So, have a great time. This is Gary saying goodbye. Have a great day. Bye.